The Indiana General Assembly is looking to battle jail overcrowding with a major rewrite of the state's criminal code. As News 10's Matt Gregory explains, it could reduce felonies for some drug possession crimes while raising penalties for violent crimes. $250 million. That's the estimated price tag for opening another prison in the state of Indiana. It's an expensive solution to a problem that plagues the entire country, prison overcrowding. So in this year's Indiana General Assembly, lawmakers looked at different ways to ease the burden on prisons, starting with the laws. This is the first time that the, the criminal code has been kind of overhauled like this since the late 70s, about 1977. Okay. Representative yeah. Alan Morrison well, is referring to, to House Bill 1006, an ambitious rewrite of the state's criminal code to ease the burden on prisons. The people who are hurting other people um, are going to certainly uh, be punished severely. Uh, the the, the nonviolent crimes, uh, the, a lot of those are the people that are filling up our our prisons. The bill would change the felony system from four levels to six and increase the penalties for violent crimes and sexual predators. But it also eases the sentencing on drug possessions like marijuana. According to House Democrat Clyde Kersey, it would make all pot possession charges misdemeanors instead of felonies. Instead of putting those people in prison, assign them to community corrections. Uh, and in community corrections, they find them a job <clears throat> if they don't have one and they must pay part of the cost of, of being in community corrections. Kersey and Morrison both agree that the system needs to change, but we'll wait to see what the final product looks like before they say how they will vote on it. In Terre Haute, Matt Gregory, News 10. Both Kersey and Morrison say a bill like this will go through several readings and committees before the final product is ready for a vote.